Good morning world. One of the issues that people can sometimes face when trying to help someone who suffers from a mental health condition or is um, developing a mental health or a mental illness is that the person may not be ready to accept that an issue exists or that an issue is developing. Sometimes they may not even be aware that the issue that a condition is developing, but just because the person doesn't is not ready to accept it or does not know or is not aware that a situation is developing does not make the situation does not make the illness any less present it does not reduce the symptoms and certainly does not reduce the impact of those symptoms on the individual as well as those around them but so that's why today we're talking about five things you should do when dealing with a person who is not ready to accept the presence of a mental illness or that a condition is developing. First is to identify the triggers, um, symptoms as well as remedies if there are any. Because you want to do this because knowing what the triggers are um, gives you the opportunity to prevent whenever possible, to prevent the symptoms from prevent presenting, to prevent situations that could trigger the onset of um, symptoms or the presence of symptoms. And of course, you want to know what the remedies, if there are any, what is it that helps get that person out of crisis mode? What is it that you can do? What um, resources can you introduce that will, when a person is in crisis, that would help them come out of crisis mode? Two, address the issue during times of calm. You want to address the issue during calm because if the person is, uh, is either unwilling or unable or unaware that the issue is there trying to do it during a crisis is definitely not going to help it's not when the person is not there when the person is not receptive it's not a good time to do it three identify resources and by resources that should one resources to help you who is dealing with the person who has to, who is helping or attempting to help this person as well as resources for the individual because you don't just want to go and tell them hey these are the problems that i see it would be helpful when you're presenting hey these are the problems that i see but here are some resources that i found that are available to help get you to help to help you deal with these um, symptoms to help you deal with this issue to help reduce your symptoms you know things to help the person you need you don't come up with don't bring a problem unless you have a solutions is what they are, is often said but yeah if you're gonna address it bring solutions um four and that probably could go ahead of three allow or help them to see their actions as well as the uh, results of these actions because if the person's not ready or they don't see the situation they don't see the problem ha being able to present them with some more concrete evidence of hey this is what's happening can open the person's eye and these days with the presence of cameras you can always record when the person is is in crisis but don't do it like an in your face type thing because you're just going to aggravate the situation just do something calm if a, if the if a crisis um, situation presents maybe the person is yelling or maybe the person is acting a certain way you press record and then you go on and do whatever it is that you need to be doing to help the person step out of the, um to help bring the person out of crisis mode you can gather evidence but don't be in your face and don't do do it in a caring way don't do don't do it and certainly do not present it in a hey this is what happened look what you did kind of way more in a caring hey i know you can't see this when you're in that state but this is what we experienced this is what happened that way they get to see it but for see it with from a supportive stance and finally, know your options for helping others in your community. Different areas have different resources that are available to them. Generally, if, if someone was suicidal, you know that they can be Baker Acted or the um, Marchman Act for uh, for a substance abuse issue. But for less uh, for other conditions, that we don't necessarily have a set parameter. So know what resources are available for helping someone because as much as I hate and I mean I absolutely hate forcing treatment on any any person who's not quite ready to do it I hate forcing people to 
into treatment but there are times where someone else other than the person who is thinking more clearly who can act more is able to act on behalf of the person who is not quite able to act for themselves or is not quite able to see that there is an issue and resolve it on their own sometimes it is necessary and when it is necessary you need to know what the resources are and of course how to use those resources in a more humane way because yes things are there but that does not necessarily mean that they are in the best way for instance yes it's good that a person can be baker acted when they're suicidal but you know how else can we do it other than bringing them if you know putting the person into the back in the back of a police car to take them to a facility okay that's another issue that i will try not to get all upset about right now but you know things like that and let's do a quick recap one identify triggers and symptoms as well as remedies if there are any to address the issue during times of calm so that the person is more receptive to what you're saying and can see where you're coming from. Three, identify resources, both, both resources to help you and your family or others impacted by the illness, as well as resources to help the person who is dealing with the illness. Four, allow them or help them see their actions in the resulting consequences because sometimes the person in a crisis in a moment of crisis may not be able to quite see what is going on so when you have an up if you have an opportunity i'm not saying do not trigger them so that you can record it and, and do not be in their face if um to kind of to record it just do something fall fall back gather your evidence but be do it from a caring and supportive way to help them not to be you know five know your options for helping others in your community yes we know we don't want to force people into treatment but there are times when it is necessary for someone else to step in and act on behalf of someone and in that situation you need to know the best and most humane most supportive ways of doing this for someone you love and that will be it for today good morning world have a great day